Hi, this is Saurabh Kulkarni, Product Manager for Vishes Optocouplers, recording from our studio in Heilbronn, Germany. Today we are going to talk about Vishes Automotive Qualified Linear Optocoupler. VOA300 is the Automotive Qualified Linear Optocoupler that we are going to discuss here today. But before we dive into the details of this optocoupler, let us lay the groundwork here. Let us first define the current transfer ratio or the CTR. The CTR is defined as the output current of the phototransistor to the forward current of the infrared emitter. For a standard phototransistor optocoupler, the CTR is determined by infrared emitter's efficiency, the transistor gain and the optical coupling, which means when current flows through the infrared emitter, the infrared emitter irradiates the phototransistor and the phototransistor in turn generates output current. Now the CTR can drift with changes in ambient temperature and the forward current as shown in the images below. Typically the data sheet covers this kind of curve for the phototransistor. In an application the design engineers account for the CTR changes. Now let us assume that a 5 milliamps of forward current is flowing through the infrared emitter. Given the CTR of 100%, this would result in 5 milliamps of output current. By design, the input and output sides of the optocoupler are isolated, meaning the designer doesn't know if the output current has changed due to temperature or time. Thus, accounting for temperature changes and changes over time, the design engineer can make sure that output current of 2.5 milliamps is sufficient to turn his output on, which means he has a built-in buffer for his output to turn on. Many applications need constant output current. They can't have changing output current due to drift in CTR. This is solved by having match photodiodes on input and output side. Basically, we have created a feedback loop on the input, which tries to keep the emitter's output constant over temperature and time. So when exposed to the same radiant power, the output current of both the photodiodes will be the same. Any changes due to temperature will affect the photodiodes the same way. To help this understand better, let's indulge in this cartoon here. We have Anna as an input who would turn on the input current of the infrared emitter to 10 milliamps and she would like to know what FRED1 is seeing. FRED1 and FRED2 are exactly the same. Now FRED1 replies that he is getting 91 microamps and FRED2 is also getting 91 microamps but they don't know that they have the exact same reading. But since they are matched they do see the same current reading. Now I would like to introduce a couple of terms here. So K1 is equal to the output current on the input side divided by the infrared emitter's forward current. K2 is equal to output current on the output side divided by the forward current. And K3, which is the transfer gain, is simply the ratio of K2 by K1. We said that the photodiodes are matched. So shouldn't be K3 equal to 1? Ideally yes, but due to some manufacturing tolerances, it may happen that K3 is not exactly 1. If you can look at the K3 bins in the data sheet, the more you move towards the right, the closer the K3 value gets. In addition, the application also dictates how perfect a match is needed. Now an important question is, where is this linear optocoupler actually needed? This linear optocoupler is very well suited for accurately sending analog signals over the isolation barrier. In an automotive, this part is typically applied for galvanically isolated current and voltage measurements in a battery management system. The schematic shown here is for the current sensing application in a BMS. Along with VOA300, a couple of resistors and amplifiers are needed due to relatively low currents coming out of a photodiode. At Vishaya, we also have created reference designs for such kind of applications. I encourage you to contact us for more details on this. In a nutshell, VOA300 is an AEC Q102 qualified automotive linear optocoupler 
with a gain stability of plus minus 0.005 percent per degree celsius isolation voltage of 5300 volt rms and maximum transient isolation voltage of 10000 volts the voa 300 allows fast data transfer at the rate of 1.4 megahertz which is the fastest in the market and it can operate at higher temperatures up to 125 degrees celsius voa 300 can be applied for galvanically isolated voltage and current sensing in onboard charger dc dc converter as well as ac dc inverter stages and it is well suited for isolated temperature sensing so you can find the data sheet app notes and the spice model at www.vshi.com/opto this VOA 300 is part of OptoCoupler's product group and feel free to explore other product ranges from Vishay as well.